Hi everyone, I'm Bindi Smalls and I am a cosplayer and 3D printer in the United States. Today we're going to go over some questions that uh, was asked on Stella's Twitter about what I do, 3D printing questions, all sorts of things. What advice would you give cosplayers? Don't be afraid to try something because you think it's too hard. Uh, there's plenty of things I thought were really, really difficult in the beginning, but now that I've grown in experience and I go back and try them, they're not nearly as daunting or intimidating as before. If anything seems like it would be too difficult for you or too hard to attempt, do, do your research. Like, do as much research on it as you can. Find tutorials, find videos, all sorts of things. Once once you get your yourself kind of acclimated to the idea of doing whatever you think is too hard, um, you start to see possibilities and ways to make it reality. What's your favorite cosplay to date? Uh, my favorite cosplay to date, it's, it's tough. It's somewhere, it's probably between Nova from StarCraft and Tracer from Overwatch. I'm not actually sure which one I like better. I like Nova because it was like, I felt like I finally really got down the process I liked using for making armor. And with Tracer, I feel like I was more involved in the making of this costume. With Nova, I had a dice up suit, so that means I bought um, the undersuit. I bought the pattern for it and then sewed it up. Um, it was all printed for me, whereas with Tracer, I made everything, everything from scratch. So, like all the leggings, all the jackets, everything. Um, so I felt like really involved in that process. So I, those two are my favorite. She lives in my home state. Will you be going to Denver Comic Con this year? I won't. I won't be going to Denver Comic Con only because AX, uh, Anime Expo is at the same time. And I really, really like Anime Expo. I enjoyed Denver Comic Con last time I went, but I only got to go for one day last year. So I just need more time. And I wish they weren't overlapping like other conventions that I love so much. So I'll be at AX if anyone else is going. What style of music is she into? What style of music am I into? That's an interesting question. Um, I'm kind of into a lot of things. My taste is pretty eclectic. Most, I guess most people wouldn't assume, but I actually listen to a ton of rap music, uh, especially while I'm working or working out because it, I feel it's motivational in some regard. Or, Indie rock or EDM, or it's just kind. Of, honestly, it's kind of over all over the place, and it depends on my mood. Friends over cosplay, or cosplay over friends? Friends over cosplay, or cosplay over friends is a tough question for me because a lot of my friends are cosplayers, so I feel like I can mix those together. But I would always say friends over cosplay because a lot of my friends are cos cosplayers. It is true, but most of my friends aren't, and we play games and do normal people things all the time. So it's not like something that like completely, I, I, it's not like I'm gonna make friends with someone only because they're a cosplayer. I make friends with people because I like those people or I find them funny or they make fun of me a lot and some how that works, anyway. How do you stay efficient in your costuming? Any tricks, shortcuts? I feel like I'm the slowest cosplayer in the world because it takes me forever to do things because I get like so involved in whatever it is I'm making. Efficiency, so in, but I've learned over the years to be quicker at things, to do these things faster and efficiency, you have to decide if you want to make something re relatively quickly or like not waste time or not feel like you're wasting time, you have to decide what's going to be key important elements of, of your costume, right? And what things you can take out or what things you can kind of gloss over or do slowly or what details you can kind of shove to the side and what elements you need to like highlight or really spend time on. It's, it's difficult though because I'm the kind of person who really gets lost in the details. So I'll just so like dwell on every detail and be like, oh my gosh, this is not right, this isn't accurate, whatever. So I've, I've learned to get better. I've learned to get better. So I'm making things faster these days, but it's tough. It's really tough for, for someone like me. Is there any proper model that she wants to work on but has not been able to due to difficulty, length of time of design? Yes. So any proper model that I want to work on but can't because it's difficulty or length of time or beyond my skill level, absolutely. I'd love to do more uh, mechanical design where say Mercy's de default staff for instance um, this the base cylinder rotates one direction and the, the little wings that stick out rotate in another direction and making things like that work in real life is something I'd like to work on it's not a skill I've ever had previously I was I didn't go to school for any type of engineering whatsoever I learned how to model 3d model on YouTube and 3d printing I've learned through experience all of this stuff is really, really new to me, and I take a lot of advice from people who follow me or people who've reached out to me to tell me how to do things. Um, I take a lot of advice from those people, but even still, I want to make things that have that 4D element, right? That 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 things that move in time, in real time, um, things that are like 
involving with the environment around them. Um, I want to do more mechanical stuff and I want to expand what I do with electronics. I want to involve more servos, I want to involve more program programmable LEDs and boards and, uh, and that's just the direction I'm trying to go to. I haven't had time to really fully invest myself into it. I've gotten a lot of help over the years in that kind of stuff, but I want to be able to do it myself. How long does it take for you to sand and clean once something is done printing? Any secrets for those who, who hate sanding? My secret would be to learn to love it <laughs> because after you've sanded things for so long, so long, hundreds of hours, you kind of determine when you get a good sense of when to stop sanding and when you can use like filler primers uh, or other additives essentially to speed up the process or like to kind of cu cut corners, not really cutting corners because you're still doing the work, but you're cutting out just like mindless sanding over and over again when you don't need to. You learn how far you can go in terms of grit. Like if you don't, not everything has to be sanded at a 600 grit level. Some things can get away with like a 150 or 200. You don't have to make everything super, super smooth and and glossy because that's that might not be what's even appropriate. You have to really learn like textures and when you when to use the ideal texture or when to kind of paint in the details, if that makes any sense. Are you going to be doing any West Coast cons this year? I am, I am. It's all in caps. I shouldn't make this answer all in caps. I'm going to AX as well as BlizzCon. <laughs> Uh, there might be another in my near future, but we're still determining if we're gonna go or not. So, I'm not gonna say that. Mindy Smalls, why are you still a vegetarian and won't accept Stella's meat? <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've been a vegetarian for like, thir or I've, been, I've been a non-meat eater for like 15 years now, um, maybe even longer. I became a vegan when I was really, really young and was a vegan for 12 years. And uh, I, I did that initially for like health and for morality and sick. Uh, these days, I guess I really don't care as much or I'm not as much of a bleeding heart as I used to be. Um, I still care in the general sense, but I'm not as much of an activist as I used to be. I kind of just want to have a peaceful life. But I can't go back and eat meat even if I tried because once in Las Vegas, I had a huevos rancheros dish and I didn't know there was chorizo in the sauce. It wasn't even meat on the plate. It was chorizo it used in the sauce to make it. And I had a horrible time. So I'm just gonna be a vegetarian forever. Sorry, I don't want your meat. Will Binti Small start Twitch streaming again? Always was awesome watching how she made things and even learned a thing or two from her. As well as just seeing the work from start to finish. The work that she made was fucking awesome. Aww. That makes me really, really want to Twitch stream again. I do, I will probably start it soon-ish. It really depends. I want to like be more focused on projects, do like a lot more content on one project from beginning to end, rather than kind of snippets in the middle. Um, and with Twitch, I enjoyed doing Twitch, especially in doing activities that were really, really boring to do alone, like sanding, for instance. Spending time on Twitch stream sanding is nicer because I can talk to people rather than just sitting there and just sanding over and over again for hours and not talking to anyone and being bored. You can make an ASMR video. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'll like switch out different sandpaper. I wonder how that would be. I've always thought about doing, it's not quite ASMR, but something similar where I, I get a lot of satisfaction out of when someone takes a printer or takes a 3D print off of a printer and takes off all the support material so that you finally see like what it is. Uh, I, I've always thought about doing videos like that to be like, peeling away support material because to me it becomes like once you have something off the printer I need to take the support material off in the next hour I'm gonna go insane thinking about removing the support material it's like an obsession I have to I have to take it away I, I thought about doing videos like that like some kind of time lapse Transform. yeah transformative Jono asks how many licks does it take to reach the center of a pizza pop I know there's a real answer to this I know someone's figured this out why are you asking me <laughs> Jesse asks can I 3d print 2d things Oh my god, Jesse. Yes, you can 3D print 2D things. Actually, this brings up a really interesting thing you can do with printers, especially with Cura, which is free software. You can import a JPEG into Cura and it will it will 3D print a lithopane. So it'll make a relief of like the darks and the lights of the photo and it'll uh, you can select like how many layers thick and stuff like that. So you can have your, your photo essentially printed. It'll look like a topographical map once you take it up, but then you hold it up to the light and you see the, the photo. It's like perfect. It's really, really cool. So yes, you can, Jesse. I notice you don't run enclosures. I assume you only print PLA. If so, what do you see as the benefits of this over other filaments? Any detriments? 
So this is this is like an age long issue in 3D printing. PLA versus ABS. I am not a fan of ABS, mostly because I like to print very large objects and ABS tends to warp. You can have an enclosure to combat this, but I've never seen super perfect ABS prints with just adding an enclosure. There's so much more that goes into it. That being said, this issue can be solved, but there's so much more. ABS to me smells horrible. There have been studies about the off-gassing of ABS and how much more is released, how much, how many more nanoparticles are released into the air uh, versus PLA. I could be saying that wrong, but it, w it was significant um, versus the two where PLA being kind of safer. However, that being said, I print 99.9% .9 in a PLA blend. It's not standard PLA, it's PLA blend, uh, so it's a little bit stronger, it's not brittle, um, you, you can't snap it like you would with PLA. Um, once I made that switch from standard PLA to this PLA blend, none of my, pop none of my props have broken, period. It's been amazing. So that's what I prefer. I also prefer sanding PLA as opposed to ABS. I, they do sand a little bit differently, whereas ABS is kind of gets a little mushy under the heat. Um, and PLA doesn't, it holds, holds a little tighter. And P this PLA blend does not warp. I almost never have it warp. Uh, the sport material is easy to remove with my, my fingers and it's super cheap and affordable. So for me, it's kind of a win-win, all PLA blend. How high would you rate your savagery replies towards dumb internet comments? One to 10, one being, I don't even bother, or 10, eat a big chode, you troll. <laughs> it's funny because me in real life is like eat a big chode troll, but me on the internet, I just would rather say nothing than then to say something mean because I don't want, I don't actually want someone to feel bad. Whereas like in my head, I'm like, yeah, fuck that guy, you know, cut off his head and shit down his throat. But. <laughs> but <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching my video and I'll have more answers for your questions. You can leave more questions in the comments and I'll get to them when I can. And for more tips and tricks on how to finish 3D printed stuff or how to even make 3D models and things like that, or to see my progress and support me as an artist, please, please check out my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash See you guys later. What's your bra size? <laughs> Cut off his head and shit down his throat.